Good evening. In this video, I'll discuss about how to make series differencing, log differencing, and how to select optimal lag. I have data set of money supply that is denoted by M1, GDP, interest, and WPI. Out of that, I'm going to make differencing of money supply for that go to add and click on like first differencing of selected variable then it comes d underscore m1 it means a new variable of differencing of money supply has been created if i click I found first differencing of money supply. Similarly, I'm going to make log differencing of this money supply. For that, again, I go to add and click log differences of selected variable. Then I found LD underscore m1 it means it is talking about log differencing of money supply similarly if i want to calculate simple log of money supply then simply go to add click on log of selected variable then you find another variable which is of log of money supply then the next agenda is how to select optimal lag in Gretel for that select any particular variable like I have selected money supply then go to model in model click on multivariate time series then you find so many options out of that click on var lag selection if you click you find this option so i simply select this money supply and click here i found money supply here then uh, it has been mentioned here maximum lag 2 this is annual data and we have 35 observation so i can take five here and then click on ok well this is about optimum lag selection there are so many criteria through which optimal lag can be selected out of that Generally, we prefer a CACA information criteria that is AIC. So, as per this, optimal lag for money supply is 1 because a star has been marked here. If you compare this AIC value from this rest of the lags, then you find 21.31 is least value from compared to these uh, rest of the lags so in my case the AIC is marked here for optimal lag 1 so simply you can say my optimal lag for money supply is 1 so that is all about how to select optimal lag in greater thank you